let's have a look at question 29 in this video so we want to find out the incomes of consumers in a particular state now the population standard deviation in this state is known to be a thousand dollars a random sample of 49 individuals resulted in an average income of fifteen thousand dollars now we want to find out the width of the 90 percent confidence interval so before we solve it, what does it mean to have a 90% confidence interval with a sample size of 49 observations? 90% confidence interval when we have 49 observations in our sample. Well, that gives us a range of values, a range of values that contains, that contains the true population mean, the true population mean, I'm going to note in brackets mu, that's how we denote the population mean, in 90% of random samples of random samples of size 49 observations. In other words, if we take a hundred random samples that contain 49 observations out of this particular state, in 90 of them we are going to have the true population mean included in the confidence interval. So the confidence interval is going to contain that population mean in 90% of these cases, in 90% of these random samples. Now, how do we find out the confidence interval? Let's write it here below. So the confidence interval, the confidence interval is equal to the sample average plus minus a margin of error. Now the question is, what is that margin of error? Well, the margin of error, let's write it here, confidence interval equals to the sample average plus minus. The margin of error is the critical value of the Z distribution times the standard deviation of the population divided by the square root of N. What we're looking in this, in this question is for the width. Now, what is the width? Let's draw it on the distribution and we'll find out. So if we draw a normal distribution, if we draw a normal distribution and we have our sample average, we have our sample average and we have a margin of error and notice that we say it's plus minus. So we have a specific margin of error to the right, a specific margin of error to the left because recall this is a normal distribution so it's symmetric around the mean. Now this is going to be our confidence interval. This is going to be our 90% confidence interval in this specific case. So this is what we're looking at. Now when we speak about the width, when we speak about the width is literally this distance, the distance between the lower bound to the upper bound, the distance between here and here. And we can see that that's including one margin of error to the right of the mean and one more, one more margin of error to the left of the mean. In other words, the width is going to equal to 2 times the margin of error. So if we find out the margin of error, we can just multiply it by 2 and we'll find out the width of this confidence interval. So let's do that. The margin of error, the margin of error is equal to the critical value z. The critical value z at 90% confidence interval we can find from the distribution and that's equal to 1 point. 1.645 that's the critical value z multiplied with the standard deviation which we saw in the question to be over here a thousand dollars so it's a thousand dollars we can write a thousand dollars divided by the square root of the number of observations and in our sample we said that we are taking 49 individuals so 49 observations square root of 49 square root of 49 and if we solve the math over here that's equal to 235 now that's just the margin of error recall that to find out the width the thing that we're looking for we have to multiply it by 2 so 2 times 235 and that's equal to 470 and if we check our answer key in the answer key it says that the width is just 235 and that's false that's just the margin of error hope this makes sense and we are done